We'll start by downloading Marant uh, Marantis OpenStack. So I'm going to go to Marantis.com. I'll go ahead and download it. Real quick. Go ahead and click download. Now, if I click Quick Start, I can go ahead and pull down these virtual box scripts. That will vastly speed up the ability to build up this OpenStack installation. Let's go ahead and get these extracted. So double check that my virtual box is empty, which it is. I don't have any of the old installations hanging around. And then I'm going to go to this ISO folder and drop in the ISO that I just downloaded. Go ahead and pull that out of my downloads folder. I just want to copy this ISO right over. Now that I've got that copied, I could go ahead and, and start launch.sh as soon as I'm happy that I've got enough slaves in there. So what I'll do is go ahead and open up Sublime real quick. And then I'll go ahead and open this config.sh. So suppose three is actually probably a good demo number. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that so three uh, should be fine. That gives me enough room for one controller, one sender node, and one Murano node, where we have three or four gigabytes of RAM assigned. I'm going to leave these to the minimum, except for my compute node. I do need a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 4096. Four gigabytes is more than enough to for most Murano deployment cases for demo purposes. So I'll go ahead and save that. And this looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and minimize out of here. Now I should be ready to invoke launch.sh, which will start bringing up all of my uh, slaves, my fuel master and my slaves. And we'll just go ahead and call launch.sh. What you'll notice is that it's going to go ahead and power up a fuel master. Basically, you just want to wait for the fuel master to initialize and complete its installation from the ISO we provided. And then the virtual box scripts are going to continue in the background and fire up our three slaves. And again, those three slaves is one for the controller, one for the sender storage uh, node, and the third one is going to be the larger compute node with four gigs of uh, memory. So that way we can run through um, all of the, the built-in Murano uh, deployments since Murano is a little memory intensive. Since it can take over an hour for the slaves to come up and the fuel master to complete installing, the first thing I recommend doing is go ahead and uh, creating a snapshot of all these VMs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's snapshot these. This is great for demonstrations. So that way you can repair 
your OpenStack environment with a single with a couple clicks of a button and uh, resume exactly where you left off from a fresh install without having to wait. If we look at the N2002, so I'll go ahead and connect to that in Chrome. Go ahead and create a new OpenStack environment. I'll call this Billy's MacBook. And I prefer to use Ubuntu, so I'll base my environment off that. I do not need high availability, so I'm going to turn HA off. Uh, Kimu is good because I'm on virtualized hardware. And I'm going to use VLAN segmentation as Nova is obsolete, so I'll go ahead and Use VLAN, use the default cinder storage, and I will install Morano for demonstration purposes. And we'll go ahead and create that environment. I'm going to click on this environment. I've got no nodes. The first thing I should do is click settings and give myself access. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the contents of my id underscore rsa.pub file. So that way I have access from my MacBook host. Go ahead and save those settings. Actually, probably one of the most common issues is locking yourself out of your own OpenStack environment. So now I can go ahead and create my nodes. I'm going to need a controller first and foremost. I'm going to give the controller two gigabyte, the two gigabyte node. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to need some cloud storage. So I'm going to go ahead and establish a Cinder LVM. I'm going to give it the least amount of resources since it's not too demanding. And the most demanding compute node I have is for Murano. Uh, deployments. So I'll go ahead and give it the four gigabyte box. And I'll go ahead and deploy these changes. And yes, I'm sure. Go ahead and deploy. And now our three nodes are up. I've got my sender, compute, and controller nodes online. If you look at the top message here, it'll say that Horizon's available by the internal network at 10.20.03 uh, on the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that works. I left the defaults intact for this Mirantis OpenStack installation. So it's just admin admin. See if I could sign in or not. And there you go. Got full access to Horizon. My OpenStack cloud, private cloud is up and running. And if I SSH using my RDRSA, since I gave the public key, the id underscore rsa.pub, I can actually get access as the root user on the controller. SSH in as root 1020.03. Same IP is for Horizon, which also happens to be the controller node on OpenStack. So uh, root at node-1, so that's great. I've got access. I haven't locked myself out. My public key was accepted. And now I'm ready for a health check. So the next immediate thing you should always do on any new Mirantis OpenStack install, one of the best parts of Fuel is being able to run a full health check suite of tests. On these tests, and you see they run pretty quick. All right, let's review our health check status report here. Notice I only have two, two classes of errors going on here, which is perfectly understandable. Um, my Linux image with the Murano tag is not available, so both the Murano-based health checks failed. That is expected. We have not created the Linux-based Murano base image. We're going to do that in the next presentation. So let's ignore that for, for today. and. I cannot reach 8.8.8.8 .8 or also known as the Google DNS servers, which means my compute nodes for both of these internet connectivity tests, the check internet connectivity from a commute, uh, compute and a check network connectivity from instance via floating IP, uh, it's basically just saying that my compute nodes will not have internet access. 
since this is a demo laptop and I'm only demoing Murano, I really don't care whether or not those VMs have internet access. So I'm going to ignore these. Now, let's say your demonstration requires internet access from within one of your compute nodes or one of your VMs in the compute node. I would highly recommend that you go back to the download page where we originally got the ISO fuel image and go ahead and read the docs. So if you go to the read docs link here and look at the running Morantis OpenStack on VirtualBox, if you look at that, I want you to look at page 8. Page 8 actually explains why you will not get internet access from any of your compute nodes out of the box. You're going to have to do a little bit more setup on your host. Um, in fact, in a, they even, if you look at these two yellow boxes they're giving you, these two yellow boxes are actual command lines you can use on a Linux-based host to enable routing from the compute nodes through the host all the way out to the public internet. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to read the Morantis OpenStack, uh, running Morantis OpenStack on VirtualBox PDF, especially look at page 8 that I'm showing you here run through that and you should have internet access and then you could actually rerun these tests at any time by selecting them and, and just selecting the run tests. This cl private cloud is fully functional and is ready for the next demo which will focus on creating the Linux base image for Murano to play against.